Good evening, everybody. It's Saturday, April 15th. It's what you do. So we starting the vlog again late again. Somebody forgot to start the vlog. I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know. Who am I talking about? I have no idea who you're talking about. Somebody's slacking lately. Mm -mm. Maybe if we just start the vlog every day, we'll remember. Because we're kind of vlogging every day and just putting into one vlog for the week. So we're vlogging Saturday through Friday. But just not a lot each day. Just kind of combine them. So maybe just think we're vlogging every day and just kind of like when we did daily vlogs and stuff, I won't be putting it up every day. I'm just combining them into one vlog. Yeah. The thing with that, the thing with that is like we might start the vlog one day, like especially like during the week after we work, of course. We vlog more on like, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday when we're off and stuff, but Tuesday through Friday when we work and stuff, we won't be vlogging quite as much, but like Brad will start the vlog because I'm at work. Uh, but then we might start the vlog and not really vlog anything else the rest of the day because I just don't always do a lot. So plus the vlog would be super long. We vlog a whole bunch every single day, but uh, we might start the vlog and then just start it again the next day. Maybe add more to it. Maybe not. I think it's just easier to do it that way if we start it so we can keep track of what we're doing, mm -hmm. even if we don't vlog a lot every day. But uh, yeah, so then he went to Riker's birthday party and he forgot, he took me, he forgot the camera. I and was then, flustered this morning. Yeah, so he forgot. Um, I had it work, so I didn't go because it was 11.30 this morning. And then I came home, took a nap because I was really tired and it's a really gloomy, crappy day out. It's like 45 degrees out and rainy out. How do we go from like 82 degree weather, 80s, around 80 degree weather to like 45 degree weather. I don't know. It was so nice this past week. Now today, winter just came back for a day and it needs to go away again. I think this week it's not going to be quite as warm. It's going to be, uh, we're not off and on. A few days here and there will be good. But, uh, I don't think it's going to be as warm as it was last week. Let's see here. Yeah. Um, 59 tomorrow, 68, then 73, 77, 67, then 48, 51, 54, 61. So kind of go up and down a little bit. So anyway, I took a nap and then got up. We cleaned up the kitchen. We had dishes sitting here all week long. We were so busy this week and we had cooked dinner with Marco and Lexi when they came over Monday night, spent the night before we went Tuesday to get his name changed. And we made tacos. So we had the taco, the pan with the hamburgers in it, and then like the just dishes and stuff in the sink. But we had the dishwasher full. We just got busy every night this week and we're like, eh, we'll do it tomorrow. And then the next day, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. And the next day, do it tomorrow. <laughs> Finally, we did it. We've never left dishes on the stove and then the sink that long, I don't think. Never. Almost five days. I showed Marco today and Marco was like, are you kidding me? He was, that never happens. No. He was, I don't think growing up we ever left dishes in the sink. No. That's what he said. Yeah. For some reason here, I don't know why, it seems like the dishwasher fills up really fast and it's just a lot to empty it. I don't know why it seems that way here. It just, it's always full. And I'm like, uh. I don't remember it being that way. I don't know what it is about this dishwasher. I don't know what it is. And it's only Brad and I, so I don't know why it gets so full. But it always seems to be full when we got to empty it. Mm -hmm. Brad doesn't use the dishwasher that much. I'm the one that uses the dishwasher. He washes it by hand, most of the stuff by hand. But uh, yeah, so now, so we clean that up. Now we got to figure out what to do for dinner because we don't have any food here because we need to go to the store. Yep. So, um, we're just gonna get something to eat out tonight and then go to the store probably tomorrow. 
some time. So now we just gotta decide what we're gonna eat. So we're eating dinner. I forgot to vlog. Just not getting with the vlogs lately. Keep forgetting. I'm not used to it. Not used to it. Like but all the time, like content. We've been doing it quite a while. I don't know why we can't get used to it again. So we got Chipotle for dinner. <clears throat> don't call Marco. <clears throat> Brad went to pick it up. He said they were busy. Oh my God, they were so busy. They had a door out the line for people coming in to order. And there was like probably eight to 10 of us waiting on pickup orders. <laughs> it was crazy. So we're watching um, crossovers with Kelly and Reba. It was on like 2007 or something like that, but we'd never seen it. I don't know how come we never seen this. Mm -hmm. It came on, we were watching something on Paramount Plus, but I don't remember what it was. We were watching something and this came on afterwards. What was it? That, some concert or something we were watching. And what was it? If you haven't downloaded Kelly Clarkson's new two songs, you're crazy. They're amazing. This album's going to be amazing of Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, they're good. Mine and me. Uh, I cannot remember what we were watching on Paramount Plus. Something. Some music thing or something. Mm -hmm. And then this came up afterwards. And then, like, oh, I haven't never seen this. So uh, we started watching it. Reba's my Janet Jackson. Like, Brett's Janet Jackson. Like, he's all goo goo over Janet Jackson. Well, I'm that way with Reba. And I would go straight for her. Even though she could be my mom, I'd go straight for her. Well, I would, amazing. I wouldn't go straight for Janet. <laughs> Reba. Sorry. I freaking love, 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 love Rita. I don't like Janet that way. I but always have. She's just amazing. Okay. Just remembered what it was we were watching Who when remembered? that came on. Oh, Brad remembered. Okay. It, it was a CMT Awards that was on last week. We didn't watch it when it was on, but we we have Paramount Plus, so it was on there, so we watched it on there. It was really good, too. And then uh, they did a bunch of, like, 80s songs and stuff. It was pretty cool. And then uh, this came on afterwards and it was done, so that's when we started watching. So, just had to tell you that. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday, April 16th. Yes, April 16th. Starting the vlog late. I'm doing baby laundry. I'm on uh, baby duty. He was up before me, but again, forgot. I'm gonna have to do with him. Then I got up and I'm like, just trying to get stuff done. And we just didn't start the vlog. Doing our grandson's laundry. <clears throat> but uh, we just filmed a haul. We filmed uh, our March orders party closeout haul. And we got some customer orders in there too. And um, our giveaway winners in our VIP group, we had a giveaway. So we have two bars for our giveaway winners. We got them a lot. And then bars for us, pause. Got the Wonder Woman warmer. Check out our haul. We'll talk about them, and then some customer orders here. So yeah, just filmed those, and then we need to film a a review too. Should do it while we have the camera and stuff all set up. Well, I'm using the camera right now, but I can put it back up where I had it. We got these ice creams last week. I think it was like a week ago. I haven't reviewed them yet. They're the Van Leeuwen. Um, this is the main one, the Hidden Valley Ranch Van Leeuwen. So curious about that. So we have that, but then they have, there's like seven all together they released, but we only got five of them. But these other three I wanted because I love cake pieces and ice cream. They have a carrot cake, lemon cello cake, and strawberry shortcake. So we need to review those. What'd you say? Did I show them? Oh yeah, I think I did. I think I already showed you in the blog we already did a week or two ago. Or the 
last vlog or vlog before, I don't know. But I'm showing you again that we need to review those still. Haven't reviewed them. So yeah, um, guys doing the laundry. I'm gonna do that. We need to go to the store too because we have nothing to eat here. Try and get baby ready. It's gonna be here before we know it. Yep. Baby and Ash is due in a month. Almost exactly. Almost exactly. Well, today's the 16th, so it's due on 19th. So in three days, it'll be a month exactly. He's due. So we just went to the store, got back, and thought we'd show you our grocery haul. We went to Hy-Vee and then uh, Target. Then I also had to stop at Price Driver because they didn't have my Kleenex I like there. And then I had to stop at Walgreens too because they didn't have my uh, Floss Reacher Floss Picks I use. That's the only thing I miss about going to Walmart is Walmart tended to have everything all there. And, but now that I go to other places, I have to go to multiple places because lots of places, they don't carry everything everywhere when I don't go to Walmart. But I don't miss going to Walmart, to be honest. We only go there very rarely anymore. So, okay. Let's start here. Most of this is Hy-Vee. Oh, you know what? I should have got it. Our local mm -hmm. grocery store. I should have got bagels. I forgot I had that jam in there, that homemade jam still. Should have, would have, could have. Okay, we got this Tostitos um, Mexican style three cheese. I don't think we've ever had those. It doesn't say new, but I don't think I've had them. It sounded kind of interesting. So I got those. Um, bare naked granola. They didn't have the kind I normally get, so I got this. Um, I don't know how to say that. Ca cacao and <laughs> cashew butter. It's got okay. chocolate in there. You know, Target has all those different granolas. You should have looked there instead of getting those. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Target. We need to start getting your granola there because there's all that. We could get groceries at Target because they carry groceries. We have a, uh, we go to the, it used to be called Super Target, but I don't think it's, it's called Super, it's not Super Target anymore. It's just, but it's the Target with the bigger grocery area. Kind of like a Walmart. It used to be Walmart Super Center and then it was Super Target. Now it's, it's just a Target, but it has, it, it's a bigger Target. And they have more groceries than the regular ones do. Uh, we got these nacho cheese Doritos. Uh, sorry. <laughs> now go buy me another bag. <laughs> They're fine. You just broke them. They're fine. They're grounded. Uh, Southern Southern Home Style Rich and Creamy Mac and Cheese. I don't know if we ever had this Southern Home I Style. I think so. We'll see. Good to try. Then I oh. thought I wanted to try this cheddar cheese popcorn. It's Valley Pop. Oh, it sounded good. I like cheese popcorn. Mm -hmm. I haven't had popcorn in a while. And I was really hungry. I <laughs> went to the store because I just had cereal this morning. So I find it. I like it when you go to the store when you're hungry because I feel like that when you are hungry, you have a lot of food. But if one time we went and I wasn't hungry and nothing sounded good and I didn't get really anything because I just wasn't hungry. So um, we got this pot sized spaghetti. I've never seen that. Is that just small so it just fits right in the pot? No, it's pretty cool. You don't have to break it or, well, you don't have to break it usually, but it, you know, it'll just eventually soften and go down into the pot. But anyway, this is a uh, wheat thins. I got the party size that regular box. Um, it's not the party size, but it's like family size or something. They didn't have any. So I just got the party size, but I go through those like crazy work anyway. So I uh, also have never had this. It's sweet barbecue hamburger helper. I've never seen that one. So I thought we'd try that. Got some corn tortilla chips, because I got some salsa up here somewhere. Got some hamburger buns for, so we got these hamburgers, and then uh, we got this pulled pork stuff here in a minute. Um, hi B, we got, this is Doritos barbecue encrusted chicken breast. So it's chicken breast, but it has like, it's a, got Doritos, like encrusted with Doritos. It's barbecue, I guess, barbecue flavor. Uh, then we got this firecracker Brussels sprouts here it's special sprouts a season with like a firecracker sauce it's not real hot but it's just kind of spicy not spicy hot but like it's got seasoned spice on there yeah it's really good uh parmesan garlic turkey meatballs for spaghetti and meatballs um this is another firecracker green beans the other one was Brussels sprouts this is green beans they also have corn in the cob which we got some too didn't we yeah. it's yeah. down the line somewhere here we like their firecracker stuff 
ultra thin crust Bella Bellatoria. This Hawaiian style barbecue pizza. It was pretty good. We got it um, before, so I got two of those. Then got Sargento snacks six pack. High V carries a six pack. Usually you only have three packs, but they carry six pack. Got this Captain Crunch Berry Tastic Pancake Mix for like when the nieces and nephews spend the night. Because we yeah, were because they were mad I didn't have it last time. Yeah, we were out of pancake mix. Uh, wax paper. Bad uncles. Listerine. It came with this free Total Care Listerine thing with Jiggy. Got some bar soap. Uh, was this open already? This cooking cooker liners, the slow cooker liners. Was that open like that, or did you yeah. open it? Huh? It opened in the bag. Oh. It was smashed in the bag, so it opened. Mm, paper plates, provolone cheese, Activia, bananas. This is the pulled pork to have with the other buns. With the buns. This is a. Uh, Eagle Tears. This is because they lost, right? The Super Bowl. Yeah. Since the uh, who was it again? Super Bowl, the NBA. NBA. Oh, I don't know my sports. <laughs> okay. What is this? Two twelve. Isn't that the day of the Super Bowl? You try. It says two twelve twenty three. Yeah, the Big Twelve. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the Big Twelve. But it's. Basically, it's, it's cheesecake flavored uh, milk from Chateau. So, got that. Does this say refrigerated or? It's refrigerated. Yeah, refrigerated. Then uh, some milk. You can wait. Uh, pineapple coconut bubbly and orange cream bubbly. Some lactate milk. And this is our hamburgers we got. We're going to have these for dinner. Um, one is a gourmet jalapeno jack. Brad, another one is a gourmet uh, steakhouse bacon cheddar burger, and then we got a uh, firecracker grilling sweet corn. Oh, they're little ones, yeah. I wanted little, I like big ones. We know. Then we got some ground beef, two things of ground beef. Then we got this, I gotta have that stuff pretty soon so it don't go bad. This rainbow rotini pasta salad is pretty good. Sorry, the lighting's terrible over here. Got a couple of those. We got some cat treats for Peanut because she was running low. We got Temptations Tender Fills. She likes those. She likes anything Temptation. And then uh, these Shake Ups. It's got Clunky Carnival. Chicken, turkey, and catnip flavors. And then uh, Meaty Mix Ups. I already my, had treats staying in my life. Sorry. And then, uh, she's meowing because it's dinner time. We got this vanilla bean coffee make creamer. This is really good. It's new. We've had it before a month, a few weeks ago, a month ago or so, but we can only find it at High V. We can't find it anywhere else. They have the French vanilla everywhere, but we can't find the vanilla bean. I like this vanilla bean better than the French vanilla. It was really good. So we got that. And then uh, these Sheba soft cat food because we give peanut, peanut some soft cat food every now and then. And then we got our regular cat food. And we got some sugar. This pasta sauce. Um, I thought it looked kind of interesting. I can't pronounce the brand. Custer, I don't know. And then a uh, Kraft Mac and or, uh, Parmesan cheese. Then I got this peach salsa. Sound pretty good. For those chips. Uh, lawyer's Lor Lari's seasoned salt, if I can talk. Got some tortillas. Got some wraps. Got some napkins. And that's it. Oh, and I got some bottled water, but I already put that over the way over there. On the other side is just Aquafina bottled water. Good morning. Guys, it's Monday. Good morning. Early morning. It's 8:48. You know that's early for us. 
before I decide to make an appointment at 9 o'clock. It's the only time they had. New York people that like to make appointments like at 1 o'clock. <laughs> Maybe 11 at the earliest. 9 o'clock is heck of early. Because you gotta get up at 8. The latest. Anyway, uh. Which is so weird, like I said, because I get up at 4.30. Well, I get up at 3.30. I can leave at 4.30 for work, but on my days off, it just hits different. Because my body knows that this is the day I'm supposed to be resting. It's not want to get up. Anyway, uh, we're taking the animals to the vet. They have an appointment at 9. There's Paris here. Paris. We don't have that long of a drive, so. Paris. Or Phoebe, sorry. Not awake yet. And then Peanut's back there. She's in Phoebe's kennel. We don't have anything to put her in to take her to like the vet or anything. We need to get one of those little carrying cases, that, the little bag thing. Get that, one of those backpacks to put her in. Like a little bubble hole thing. Yeah. I have to go get their shots at the vet. Their checkup. Okay, so we just left the vet. Excuse me. What? I was listening to that. You gotta turn the music down on copyright. Gosh. The copyrighted. They're rude. Uh, so we got out of the vet. Didn't take the camera there because I had to carry it there. Yeah, I can't own everything, so. But they just got their shots. And that was about it. They both weigh 11 pounds. Phoebe's 11.5, Phoebe's 11, or uh, Phoebe's 11.5, Penis 11.7. So just almost the same. Little chub ups. Pink Phoebe gained one pound in a year, they said. So that's not bad, she's not doing too bad. Which is crazy, because she don't get any extra food or anything. Like, some dogs get really fat, she gets cut. Yeah, we don't give her any table scraps or anything. We give her a treat every day. One treat every day. Okay, so on the way home, Brian wanted to stop at Casey's to get this breakfast pizza. He says it's the best ever. Casey's breakfast pizza is the best ever. Casey's pizza in general is the best ever. Oh, I love the regular pizza. I've never had the breakfast pizza. What's on it? Like we'll the have food. the regular pizza. It's gravy. Sausage gravy, and then I know I know because I used to work there. I used to be a manager of Casey's for like eight years, ten years. It's egg, sausage, and then cheese, but it's the mixed cheese with gravy for the, 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 the whatever the base. Quick Trip Casey's Pizza is better than Quick Trip. Mm. Way better. So, so good. Definitely Number needs. one, because Casey yeah. makes their dough every day fresh. Yeah. It's so good. All their pizza's good, then. Oh, he yeah. Definitely calls for orange juice, though. I need some orange juice. <laughs> yes. So, I for, was I telling you about the Kleenex yesterday? I think when we did our grocery haul, about how certain Kleenexes I like. I don't remember what I was telling you. Was I telling the vlog about that? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. So, I like... I'll show you. This is the Kleenex that I like. Kleenex Trusted Care, the original Everyday Clean. Just the original ones. And the 160 count box. That's what that looks like. It's, it's not the big box, just the regular size box. It's got 160 uh, sheets in there. I don't like the ones that say ultra soft and I don't like the ones that have lotion because I feel like the ultra soft, I've tried those and they're just a little bit thicker, of course, because they're softer. But I feel like when you blow your nose, you know, it's like, I feel like when I put your finger in your nose with the Kleenex, it's a little bit thicker and it doesn't fit up in there as well. I don't like them as well. I like these better because I feel like they're just the right size to where your finger goes up in your nose, no problems. It's just the right thickness. 
not too thin, not too thick. I like the regular ones and I don't care for the lotion ones because I don't like that lotion on there. I haven't tried those for a while, but I did try them years ago and I didn't care for them because it had like that lotion. It was, I just didn't like the lotion on there. So that's the one I like, but it's, they're super hard to find because you can always find the ultra soft and you can always find the lotions, but it's very hard to find just the regular ones. So the only place I can find the regular ones are our local Price Chopper grocery store and Hy-Vee. But I went to, or we went to Hy-Vee yesterday, but I forgot to look. Or I forgot to get Kleenex there. So then we stopped over by Price Chopper and I went in there and they only had this kind, which is the original, but it's the bigger box. It's the 200 count instead of 160. And I don't care for these because with the bigger paint, the bigger boxes, 200, after, you know how you pull the Kleenex out and then the next one comes out underneath it and it sticks out of the box and you just keep pulling them out. After about halfway so or so, the, they don't come out after the other and it, it falls down in there. So you have to stick your hand down in there to pull the Kleenex out because it doesn't keep pulling out after one another. Okay, Goldilocks. <laughs> Brad says I'm Goldilocks. Yes. Goldilocks. I'm a little picky. I am very, very picky. I like things just right. Don't like it too hot. Don't like it too cold. Don't like it too hard. Don't like it too soft. I like it just right. I'm very picky. I'll admit it. I'm a really picky person. So, anyway, but it's true though because I got these and after. It doesn't do that with the 160 counts. They all keep pulling out till the very end. Most of the time, every once in a while they might fall in there. You got to pick them up, but usually it doesn't do that. But with this one, it did it almost every time after the halfway point. And you had to dig your finger in there to pull it out because it wouldn't. The other one wouldn't come out after the previous one. So that's why I didn't like the taller 200 count boxes either. I just like the 160 count box, regular, original, no lotion, no ultra soft. But anyway, so I went to Price Chopper. They only had the 200 count box. They didn't have the original one. So then I thought, let me go to Walgreens because Walgreens is right next door and I have to go to Walgreens to get these Listerine Ultra Clean Flossers. They go on the little stick, uh, the flosser, um, like a little plastic thing. You put that on there. Then you just have to buy the refills. These are hard to find too. Target doesn't carry them at all. Walmart used to carry them. Well, they still do, but we don't go to Walmart anymore. So now that we don't go to Walmart much anymore, we go to Target. They don't carry them at Target. So um, sometimes I think they carry them at high and Price Shopper, but they're more expensive. So, and I don't even think they had them at Price Shopper the last time. But Walgreens has them. So I stop at Walgreens when I get these. But I usually get two of them, and they last me for about two months because there's seven. So there's. Um, 28 in here, so it lasts almost a month for two of them. It'll last me about two months for two of them. So I get two, last me a couple months almost. But uh, anyway, so I went there, so I thought, let me look and see if they have the Kleenex, and they had them. They had the three pack. That's also hard to find the three pack bundle, because uh, Walmart used to have those all the time. I don't even think Walmart has these bundles of the original ones anymore either. But um, like at Price Shop, I can only find the single ones like this, not the three pack bundle, because usually the, the three pack bundle is a little bit cheaper, I think. But Walgreens had them, so I'm like, maybe I just need to go to Walgreens now and get them if I can't find them. I mean, you got to make an extra stop, though, but it's right by Price Chopper. It's not that big of a deal. But, uh, yeah, I just find that funny because you would think the original ones would be everywhere. The original, just plain original ones, but they're not. So I'm assuming most people use the Ultra Soft or the lotions. Comment below, do you use the Ultra Soft? What kind of Kleenex do you use? Do you use... Kleenex brand? Do you use Puffs? Do you use the Off brand? Do you use the Ultra Soft? Do you use the lotion? Or do you like the original like me? No lotion, no Ultra Soft. And I like the Kleenex brand. Um, I did try uh, the Off brand in Target. Is the Up and Up, I think, is the brand for Target. I tried the Up and Up Kleenex. That was okay, but it was super, super linty. Like when you pull the Kleenex out, all the little bit lints. It, it was all over the place, like out of the box, on the counter, everywhere. I mean, Kleenex in general is going to do that. It gets all over, like on your counter, it gets on the mirror and stuff. You've got to wipe that off a lot because that lint, same with paper towels, they get lint wherever it, around the area where you pull it off. But the Target brand, off brand, the up and up was really, really bad. I mean, little just chunks of, 
chunks of little chunks of the Kleenex would be all over the place. So couldn't do those either. So that's my Kleenex dilemma right there. Just had to share that with all of you. My facial tissue. Uh, yeah, it's called facial tissue right now, but it's technically called uh, facial tissue. What does it say? Tissues. It just says tissues. Yeah. So just wanted to share that with you, but uh, it looks like I might be going to Walgreens because I have the three pack bundle. So I'm making some smoothies. I got this at Costco. I believe I showed it last week in our grocery haul. Got these. <clears throat> it's Fresh Start Smoothie Blend Organic Tropical Super Greens Smoothie Blend and it's got mango, pineapple, peach, kale, spinach, and avocado. So it's mostly fruits, the, but then you got your kale and your spinach and your avocado. But then you got, like I said, mango, pineapple, peach. So that gives you the sweetness too. Um, so it comes in this little bag here. And then you just put the bag into your blender. And then <clears throat> you can put like 12 ounces of orange juice or milk or whatever. It says you can add like, you know, banana or whatever you want to add to it too. If you want to add something or in your um, flax seed or whatever. So I made one. I just put uh, orange juice in there. And it's really good. But it barely fits in this glass. Like this glass was not big enough. So you probably want to have a bigger glass. And then I try to do, we have a magic bullet. I tried to do these little cups, but it was too little. So I did this, it just barely fits in that. So if you might want to use like a little bit of a bigger blender maybe, but it works for this thing. But then I'm gonna have to pour it. I'm making one for Brad too. So um, I'm gonna have to pour it in a bigger glass than that. Cause that, it poured out and then it spilled all over the side. I had to clean it up. So let me uh, cut this open and then put this in here real quick. Okay, so I poured all the ingredients into this blender cup there. And then, uh, did I already say we're out of orange juice, so I'm, Brad's using milk. So um, this was, I think, just 2% milk. So I'm going to fill that up. And then it says to put 12 ounces in there, but 12 ounces didn't quite fit in there so I'm just gonna pour until it gets to the top so yeah that's good enough see so I didn't quite do the whole thing but if you have a bigger container probably will put the whole thing but mine was fine with just it almost got 12 ounces so it was fine so now I just gotta screw the top on here I need to rinse that out because that was mine Okay, so I rinsed it out and then I screwed it onto the top of the cup here. And that's, it's got the blades in there and then that goes on the top there. So you flip it over here and then you just align it on here and then <clears throat> you blend it for 60 seconds. Alexa, set timer for 60 seconds. One minute, starting now. And then I put it on here and turn it on. Alexa, stop. All right, so it's done. It's just turned off automatically. That's weird. <laughs> Does it just stop if it's... It just stopped. I don't know why. It, it won't even start now. Great, you broke it. I mean, it stopped right about the 60 second, but now it won't even start. What the heck? <clears throat> you broke it. 
This thing's t like 190 years old. <laughs> I know. We've had this forever. Guess that was the last smoothie in these. Well, maybe just because it's blended up enough to, uh, it doesn't automatically. No, it shouldn't. It doesn't automatically. It should just keep going and going and going until you stop it. Well, let's we'll see what it's like. Let me get a glass here. Okay, so I put Brad's in a bigger cup. It's funny because his isn't green. It's green with orange juice with milk. It's white. It's, of course, I mean milk is white, but I didn't think it would turn it that white. Maybe I shouldn't use so much milk, but it said 12 ounces of either orange juice, milk, or water. I tried it. I don't like it with a milk. I'm not a big milk person. The only thing I drink milk with is like sweet stuff. Like, well, I have it in my cereal and then, I'll, you know, with like chocolate cake or cookies or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, something like that. I never eat it with like anything else. And I don't think it goes well with the fruit and the vegetables to me. It just doesn't. Mm -mm. I taste the milk too much. But Brad will probably like it. Maybe we'll see. But um, I think our blender, I think the magic bullet might have bit the dust. So I might have to get to use our regular blender we have. But anyway, um, that's how we make the smoothies. They're pretty good though. I like it with the orange juice anyway. Let's see if Brad likes it. Hold on. Let me get a straw. Okay. Let's, let's try this. Brad's going to try it. I like it. I didn't like it with the milk. Mm. You taste a lot. You know of, me, I love milk. You taste a lot of the milk, though, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I taste too much of the milk and not enough of the fruit and kale and stuff. Or, I love milk, though. Or I just don't think it goes well. It doesn't. There's not enough of the uh, other stuff to like make me want milk because I can never. I don't drink milk just plain. Like I said, it has to be with mm. something that's sweet that makes me want to have the milk or cereal. But I, I just like mm. it with the orange juice. I like it. You want to see my website, guys? My nose is just... This is my website that was made for me. One of my clients did it. He did an awesome job. So it's Bad Brad's Hair, LLC up here. And then you got the About, Services, Contacts, and then you can just schedule from the um, website. And then... Right here you can like scroll through as well. I'm mean, gonna get more pictures so he can put them over here of the salon. And then here you can go on here and you can buy clothing and then a drink, stickers, whatever. I'm about to add some more stuff and colors to that shop. And then this is just the about me. And then my hours are on here. Let me change colors when you scroll across. And then this is just everything I do. I'm gonna change, as I do clients, I'm gonna change these pictures to actual me doing them. Like that's me doing that haircut. So that's actually me. I have that bracelet right here. So, and then he's done like happy customers. He's done like reviews that I've gotten and stuff on here. And then my product that I use, most of the product that I use, that's the majority. That's what I use the most and sell. And then my cancellation policy, then you can go on here and click on my Instagram and Facebook to see things. So yeah, it's really good. If you want to look at it yourself, it's just www.badbradshair.com. But I think he did an awesome, awesome job. We'll put a link in the description box below. You can click on it and check it out. And feel free to buy some merchandise. Or you can drive to Kansas City and get your hair done. Yep. If you live a far away. It's pretty cool. So here's the merchandise that I have so far. I need to... I want to add some more stuff and it's all white right now, but I got, I'm got. i going to try to go in there tonight and like change where you can add by different colors. And this is pretty cool, I thought. Pretty cool drink thing. Water bottle. Mm-hmm. I like the sticker. 
Yeah, I got one of those. So yeah, pretty cool. What's up guys? It's dinner time and uh, did I ever show you guys that? Did I ever show that on a vlog? My new tattoo. I got that for my sister that passed away, Tammy. She loved elephants. And then that's a purple butterfly. I don't know if you can tell. It's a purple butterfly. She uh, had a purple butterfly on her hand. And so we all went and got tattoos. All of us siblings went, well, I say all, but two of us went and got them. But anyways, I made dinner tonight again. I love to cook, especially when it's nice outside and you've got the grill. I love to cook on the grill. Brett never really cooked on the grill much until um, we got together. But now he cooks on the grill. I never have a grill. Yeah. Well, maybe I did. <coughs> did I have a grill at the apartment? Yeah, we had the grill at the apartment. Before. Oh, no, you didn't. I don't remember. No. I don't That's remember you cooking on the grill until we got the house. 20 years ago, I don't remember that. Yeah. When we got the house is when you started cooking on the grill. Because a couple of times you'd call me and, you know, ask, like, what to do. Yeah, I know I didn't have a regular grill. He knew how to start it and stuff, but he would, he just wasn't for sure, like, should you do this with the food or that or with the food? So he would ask. He'd call me at work and ask. But, I mean, he always did a really good job. And now he cooks on the grill all the time, too. But, anyways, I cooked. It's called Doritos Chicken. So there's, like, Doritos on the chicken. And then Firecracker Corn of the Cob. And Firecracker Green Beans. Really good. I usually put the green beans on the grill, but with our grill that we have, can't really do that. I think that's how I usually did it, is put them on, or maybe I put them in an aluminum foil, but I just left them in the pan this time, the aluminum pan. So, yeah, it's really good, I love it. Good morning, guys. So it's April the 18th. It's Tuesday, April the 18th. I'm up and about, um, Marco and Lexi's at the hospital, um, waiting to see if we need to go up there, if it's a false alarm or true alarm. Marco was so funny when he called, he goes, well he tried to call Brett, Brett didn't answer, then he tried to call me, I didn't answer because my phone wouldn't slide to answer, so then he called my sister and he goes, my dad's aren't answering and, and we're on our way to the hospital and da 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 and so my sister calls and of course I get in trouble because I know I'm getting ready to have a grandbaby and I didn't answer her phone I'm like it's not my fault it wouldn't slide over and then when I tried to call back it went straight to voicemail and then when I tried to call back again it just rang and rang and rang and he didn't answer I said so I was in the process of texting when you called and so then he calls me back a few minutes later and um it's like we're we're on the way to the hospital. She lost her. I don't know if I should say this because I know, I know, kids watch this with their parents sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna say it, but tell your kids plug their ears. I'll wait a minute. Okay, she lost her mucus plug last night. So, which I know you can lose that and then still have a little while, but. I guess when she woke up this morning, she was in really bad cramps, contractions, whatever. Really bad contractions. She called them cramps. But she said she was hurting really bad. She was crying when we were on the phone. I'm like, this ain't nothing. Wait till it gets to a 10. But, uh, so yeah. So I'm just waiting to see, wait and see what the doctor does and says, so. We'll wait from here and just see what happens. Might have a grandbaby day, might not. So we'll let you know. She still has, excuse me, tomorrow will be four weeks left. So she still has a few weeks left. So we'll see what happens. Well, 
guess what? Headed to the hospital. She's in labor. She dilated from a one to a two and a half in an hour. So the hospital called her doctor and was like, do you want us to try to stop it or do you want her to just progress? And he said, just let her progress. So we're on the way. She's um, She's got four weeks tomorrow left. So, I mean, the baby will be okay. So yeah, not quite four weeks, I don't think, or it is, or it is right at four weeks tomorrow, something like that. I kind of get it confused a little bit every time and she's got to correct me. So yeah, so I'm on the way to the hospital. Brett's gonna meet me there, he's at work. In one so, mile. Oh Tur gosh, that's loud. So yeah, we'll be showing a baby before long. Yay! Okay, so I made it to the hospital. Are you excited? I'm nervous, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating. I'll take the hoodie off. No, it's not even that. It's cold in here. I'm just I'm really sweating. I'm, I'm out of nervous. I almost threw up because how stressed that was. <laughs> and then he's like, Dad, I need food. Yeah, so I stopped and got him food. Been in here since 9. It's almost 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's 1.30. So, <laughs> we're getting there. Yep. She dilated it at it's one and a here. half. In an hour, so they're checking her now, so we'll see. All right, so we took a break from the hospital. And we're at Fuzzy Tacos. I already ate mine. It was just two tacos rice and beans. Marco got an enchilada, a soft taco, and rice and beans. Right now, potato, rice, and enchilada. Right? That's it. Yeah. What's up, guys? Brett's with us yeah, now. Because I went straight to the hospital after work. And yeah. I didn't have the camera with me. Brad had it. So this is pretty good. Every day is taco day. It's right. pretty good, yeah. I like it. Marco went to the bathroom. He stress, stress bathrooming. So they bring this bucket out. And it has napkins. And it has some butt burning hot sauce in it and then they have some butt burning har harbanero sauce too they're both really good good afternoon guys it's wednesday august not august april april was the 19th april 19th so we didn't vlog yesterday after we ate dinner with Marco, we went back to the hospital. Her mom was there. Her mom and dad were there with her when we went to eat and then stopped by their apartment to get some stuff to take back there. Then I went back and then um, she didn't have the baby. She she never progressed any more than like, is she still dilated at two and a half? Yeah. So she's at two and a half and hasn't moved, hasn't gone any further than that since yesterday afternoon. So, or late morning or whatever. They did give her a shot for the baby's lungs though. And then she got another shot today at 12.45 for that. So as she does go into labor early, like hard labor, then um, that'll help the baby's lungs. Yeah, did they put her on IV? Did they ever do mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Just for liquids. Yeah. Because she was on a liquid diet yesterday. But she got to eat real food today. And if she don't progress, then they're going to send her send home. Send her home, yeah. So... False alarm this time, no baby yet, which is good because it was still a month Four weeks early. Old, early. So it could wait at least a couple more weeks. Mm -hmm. so. Another week or two would be perfect. Yeah, maybe the beginning of May or something. Mm -hmm. First week of May or something like that. But we'll see. She stopped having contractions last night though, and they picked up again this morning, so. Yeah. We'll see. So, anyway, I just thought we'd tell you that. Because we didn't um, vlog when we got home yesterday. Yeah. So we got this salsa high V. We did grocery haul and showed you, but it's really good. It's this peach salsa. It is what is the brand? Culinary Tours peach salsa. Um, I don't know where it's made of. So we got our local high V, but I don't know 
culinary tours, that's what it is. I don't know if you can see it. It's not gonna focus because, come put your hands up, Brad. So it'll focus on this. There we go. Culinary tours, peach salsa, medium. Um, I'm trying to see where it was made at. Cause I don't know if it's locally made or Distribu dis dip blah blah. distributed. Distributed. I can talk. Distributed. If I can say that. Distributed by. I usually can say that. Top Topka Associates. Uh, Elk Grove Village, Illinois. Hmm. So Illinois. So I don't know. If you live probably in the Midwest somewhere, or well, no, that's Illinois. It's not. Well, it's kind of Midwest, I guess. But if you buy this, try it out because it's amazing. And I've been dipping it after so far down. Of course, it's hard to get down into the jar, so I poured it in this bowl here. The rest, you know, with these uh, tosillas we got, the Mexican style three cheese, so good. Good afternoon, guys. It's Thursday. It's yeah. 4:20. Thursday. It's 3:12. Oh, I mean 4.20 today. Yeah. Yeah, they don't mean it to us. No. Uh, they were talking about how, on the news, they were talking about how that became a celebration yeah, day. Yeah, I thought of that when I was writing 4.20 on the dates of work all the day. They said it was back in the 80s, I think is what they said. Or 70s, something like that. That's how they would talk about it. That was their code word. And then it just became like a, I wouldn't call it a holiday, but. Uh, doesn't apply to us. No. But, I mean, nothing against it, just not our thing. So, you do you. Yeah, we don't this, do if you like it, that's fine, you do you. But. I got friends and family that do it. So, we, I got off work and we're gonna go. We have to stop by the post office to get a box to mail something out, and then we're gonna stop by Dairy Queen because they have the 85 cent blizzards. Through it's still for two weeks. Um, I think I vlogged last week when I got one. I think I can't remember. That looked like bow that went across there. I stopped to edit last week's vlog. I haven't done that. But anyway, they're 85 cents through this Sunday, which is what's the day, 20 to 1, 24th. So today's Thursday, so only good through Sunday, so I doubt we'll go again after today, but. So we're gonna stop there, you can't beat that, because normally it's like almost $6, five something for a small, but now it's 85 cents, comes like 94 cents with the tax for a small blizzard. So that's like a really good deal, because they're pretty expensive, regular price. So I did a thing today. I'm gonna get in trouble. But I bought Nash a blanket and it has his name on it, so it's personalized. You already told me. I know I'm telling them. Well, you're not in trouble then. So I'm gonna be getting in trouble. Because I'm always buying something for Nash. Kind of like when the boys were little, I was always buying stuff for them. And he would be like, What'd you order now when you get home and there's packages? Now it starts all over again. I have about one thing. <laughs> Not one thing. Yet, yeah, I think I probably will more than once it gets here. I haven't bought a hundred things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think once it gets here, I'll probably think, oh, I'm gonna buy some once he's here. I mean, but it's Brad's from enough. both of us, but. Brad's bought enough. I don't need to buy that more. Yeah. I mean, oh, I need to, dang it, I need. We bought it, we bought the car seat and stroller for them. And then that was the only big item that yeah. we bought. Like I've gotten like a baby crib for free and stuff well, like that. I, I bought his stuff I've gotten for free for him. Yeah. And I mean, Brad does buy the stuff, so they're both from both of us. It's not like I haven't got them anything, because it's from both of us when he buys them. 
he buys them to give them from both of us basically but he's always been that way like he's the one like when birthday presents and things like that he christmas shopping he does most of that he does all that and i don't really do that i buy for him but he usually always bought for the kids mostly yeah. for christmas and things like that i'm the i'm the mother when it comes to that yeah and i'm the one that like oh we got that for you i didn't know <laughs> yeah i don't know until they open the presents well, we got them <laughs> okay so we got our blizzards i forgot to show you actually when we got them oh my gosh this alarm clock oh god it's my alarm to remind me to skip the litter box i need to do that because i didn't do it yesterday oh, god. so if i don't if i take that off i'll forget so i have to snooze it until i get home brad's having a chest freeze over here oh something oh god it's a heart attack <clears throat> that's what i call it every time i eat ice cream and it happens Speaking of which, when you get ice cream, do you have a chest freeze or do you have a brain freeze? Because Brad and I both get a chest freeze. Like it, ooh, it gets really, it hurt, your chest hurts because it gets real cold and then it hurts really bad in your chest. That's, I get that all the time. I never hardly ever get a brain freeze. I always right. get a chest freeze and it hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad for like five to 10 seconds, sometimes a little bit longer. Maybe 15, 20 seconds. I had it one time and it was so bad I thought I was really having a heart attack because it hurt so bad. It does kind of feel like it, but it feels cold at the same time. You can uh, tell it feels cold. Yeah. So anyway, I got the puppy chow, peanut butter puppy chow blizzard. It's really, really good. And I got the s'mores, which was really, really, really good. Yeah, didn't you think it had too much chocolate in there? Because it's got chocolate pieces with marshmallow in there and then graham cracker pieces in there. I didn't but, taste it, no marshmallow. Yeah, I didn't really either. But by the time I got done with it, because I got that last week, the s'mores, when I came last week and got one. But I thought, dang, a lot of chocolate towards the end. It was so much chocolate in there. Uh, but this one has chocolate with the puppy chow, but it's not too much. Not yet, anyway. But I'm halfway through. So we wanted to come get it because it was a good deal for 85 cents. Like I said, it's usually five something. So we thought we'd get one more time before Sunday while we're on our way to the post office. This is the post right, office. right on the way. So we just got back from the post office in Dairy Queen. Just did a first sniffs of the uh, May scent of the month. Aloha Orchid. And then we didn't get the warmer this month. We just got the bar. That's the warmer. Lux leaves is the warmer. And we're getting ready to pack up our um, bricks for our giveaway winners in our VIP Facebook group that won the free spring bricks. So we gotta get those mailed out. We had this box because we use, we're using the box that these came in to send one of them because it was perfect size but we didn't have another smaller box so we had to go get buy one so we can get those shipped out hopefully i can get those shipped out tomorrow good afternoon guys it's friday april 21st so i got home from work brad we had to go to the post office real quick brad and i dropped off a couple packages and came back home trying to cook dinner so i can try to get to bed early i'm really tired I need to shave. So um, I'm gonna try to eat and edit the vlog from two weeks ago. I'm so far behind. And then um, try to head to bed. So I'm just having a simple hamburger helper, something quick and easy. I saw this one, if you saw our grocery haul, sweet barbecue hamburger helper. I've never seen that one before. I don't think we've ever had that. So that's what we're having. And then we're having some uh, breadsticks to go with it so we got our scent bird colognes in the mail today we subscribed to scent bird if you know what scent bird is they have like a little trial well not trial saint well, i don't know what we call it, travel size kind of like little containers they have perfumes and colognes so we get the colognes uh we had it before and we used to get just one a month and then um, we stopped getting them for like a year or so. And then we just um, we just reactivated our membership a few months back, earlier this year, I think it was, in January or something, January, February. But then we got ended up going up to two 
cents a month. I think you can go up to three or four or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but they come in this little little tube here, and then they have a little uh, a little container that kind of looks like this that you put it put them in, and then it has a little thing you you just push down on it because it fits. I mean, it kind of looks like that, but it sticks out the top and it pushes out and it sprays. But I don't have those are in the bedroom. But I just uh, was gonna have Brad smell these because I already smelled them, the ones we just got uh, in the mail today. Okay, so we gonna try first. I don't what? know, Goatee Locks. What? He screamed, it was in my ear. He's trying the gold. I didn't scream. He's trying commodity gold. Is that what was in this one? Is that what it says on the side, what you just sprayed? No, I'm trying this one. Oh, sorry. Well, you... Get your sh together. Oh, sorry. Language. It's a family channel. It's Confessions of a Rebel. Ooh. Get a room. I like that name. Mm. Get a room. I it, mean, with this, I probably would. I know, right? It says. Oh, oh gosh, God, I cannot read that. This is really freaking good. All. Oh God, I love this. Oh, you need to get your glasses. glasses. All heat and plenty of skin. This scent <laughs> layers mandarin, smooth woods, liquid vanilla, clary sage oil, and a bite of forbidden forbidden apple. And it smells amazing. Read the red apple, mandarin, mandarin. Yeah, cypress, liquid vanilla, and clear clear clary, clary sage oil. Blech. Let me smell that one again. Oh I can't my remember. god, it smells so good. Yes, that's the one. It smells like Vanilla Waves from oh Scentsy. God, if you like Vanilla so Waves, it smells good. very similar to Vanilla oh Waves. That and I just so remember good. Vanilla Waves that I just uh, warmed downstairs. Yeah. It smells like that a little bit. I think it's got vanilla. It's, it got, vanilla. Amazing. it's got vanilla in there. And that's just because it. it has vanilla in it doesn't mean it's Vanilla Waves. Yes, it does. But it's like a salty kind of vanilla a little bit. It smells a little similar. Not exactly, but very similar. This one's called Gold. Gold. It's by who? Commodity. Commodity gold. Rich enough to bathe in, this decadent fragrance is an intoxicating uh, excuse me. journey to one's innermost desires, thoughts, and impulses. Its warm gourmand scent is a luck. Luxurious blend of molten amber, balsamic, Arizona. I don't know what that is, and sweet vanilla. So you got s vanilla. Oh, does this smell like vanilla waves too? No. It has vanilla in it. Why don't it smell like vanilla waves? I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> Not every vanilla smells smell like vanilla waves. Just that certain kind. Benzoin. Benzoin. Tonka bean. Sandalwood and molten amber. Let me smell which one was that. God, that one smells good too. They're both really good. I'm telling you, these are the two best that we've I ever know. had out of this summer. But they're like, I mean, come on, it's gourmand since vanilla. That's right up my alley. Oh my god. I don't know which one's my favorite. I love those kind of scents. Plug like, your ears, kids. Are they plugged? Very sexual. That's well, what that's, they remind me of. That's what it said right there in the description. I mean, hello, ones get a room, and the other one it says, mm. if your innermost desires, thoughts, and impulses. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yeah, oh Confessions of a Rebel, get a room, and commodity gold. Um, I don't. I'm not real big on like the, uh, you know, ones with like bergamot and teakwood and all that kind of stuff. Some of those like smell like what are you doing? <laughs> they smell like uh... <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, I don't know, just like a regular cologne. I'm like, eh. That's, but I like good. those kinds of scents. They really 
I don't work tomorrow, I try one out and see if any of my clients say, oh, you smell good. That's what I'm waiting for. I used to get compliments all the time on my cologne. Now I hardly ever. And I'm right up in people's bubble. They should be like, oh, you smell good. I know, I don't, I don't either hardly. Anymore. The only, last time I did was when we had a... I got that sample off of micro microperfumes.com. That kind of has the same thing. You order like sample size, not subscription. Well, I don't. They might have a subscription, but we just I just ordered some because that's when I got the uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry on there, and then I also ended up. Oh, and then I got the Backyard Rouge 540 on there. Then I got um, uh, what one? It was Tom Ford's Oud Wood, or no wait, Tobacco Vanilla. I think it was Tobacco Vanilla. I think is what it was. No, it was Oudwood. <laughs> I think Do you it, even know what in the heck It was about. Oudwood. I got both those. I think it was Oudwood that I got, and somebody at work told me I smell really good. She said, well, you smell good. She goes, most people stink up in here. So I got a compliment on that one, so I need to get that, but it's like almost $300 for the bottle. Did you tell them? Tell them what? What the doctor said to, to Lexi today. Oh, no, I didn't tell her. I'm not even talking to you, so why are you even speaking? She says she doesn't. The doctor said Lexi probably won't make it till her due date, so mm -hmm. baby boy will come anytime now. Yeah. So hopefully, at least wait a week or two, because I'm hoping it waits another week or two. Even though she, it, they gave her shots, so it, if he is born early, that everything's good with the lungs and everything. But it'd still be nice if it if he held off another week or two. Yeah. So. You know, the longer, the better, always. So, um, I say, he'll probably, the doctor's probably saying that. And we went through all this trouble. I said, watch, she's due the 19th of May. I said, watch, he'll probably be late now. It was just yeah. like a, ha ha, we'll just see. joking, getting me excited. Because, uh, did we tell you she's back? Well, she was on bed rest, because she left the hospital. She is on bed rest. Yeah, she left the hospital. They just said, put her on bed rest, because they just don't want you know, because when she's active, then that might induce the labor, and then she could have the baby early. So they're trying to wait to have, not have the baby quite so early. So she's supposed to be on bed rest to kind of help not go into labor. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to get off here. i got to go to work tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I mowed our forest out there, so I'm going to try to weed eat tomorrow. And all that stuff. Yeah, it was a force. I came home. I'm like, holy crap. I know it was it's a bad. jungle out there. We got a lot of rain last day or so. So and I just put really... fertilizer down, and so it was like, boom. Yeah, but it's probably gonna look real pretty. It was now really tall. Because it's all green. So now I gotta rake all that tall grass so it don't kill the yard. Yeah. And I don't have a rake. I can't find my rake. So I'm gonna ask the neighbor across the street you if I buy, can borrow theirs. We'll just buy a rake. Huh? Just buy a rake. I mean, we could, but I just need it. Like right now, we don't need one until fall. They have a pot of plants on sale tomorrow. I think is it uh, Westlake or Ace Hardware. Oh, I gotta go put sheets on my flowers. So. Oh, no, tomorrow night's supposed to freeze. Bone about tonight. I thought it was tonight. Yeah, we too. have a freeze warning tomorrow night. Isn't that crazy? It's gonna be down mm -hmm. around freezing in 31, 32. Yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, how did you like the sweet barbecue meat, uh, hamburger helper? Oh, it was really good. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was different. I'd never seen that. And mom called. She's like, what did you, you have for dinner? We said hamburger. But she said, what kind? It says sweet barbecue. She said, I've never heard no, of that. I said, she said, what are you having for dinner? And I said, hamburger helper. And she goes, oh, yeah, I like hamburger helper. She goes, that's a quick, easy meal. And then she goes, what kind are you having? And get it straight. Gosh dang. <laughs> Sorry, I left a part out. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, she said she never heard of that, and I said I hadn't either. We saw it at IB, mm -hmm. and like, it didn't say new, but I don't know if they put stuff out and say new. I've never, uh, they don't hardly put out new hamburger helpers that much, so it's usually the same old, same old. Mm -hmm. So I thought, let's try it out. Yeah. But anyway, all right, so cool. thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Good night. Good night, y'all.